Hello guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Splatoon 2. Now in this episode, we are going to take on this boss. Um, and I know in the last episode, I did tell you guys that I would start it off with finding the scroll that we missed. So, we're gonna do just that. So yeah, see you at the Sardinium. And alright guys, so here we are. The first one, as I did discover myself, is actually up here. So hold on. We're gonna jump up here. If I could do it. There we go. Shoot this box and get the sardine. Sardinium. And then take a little shortcut here. Um, and then actually the first one is very close. So I'm actually just gonna do that. We're actually just gonna jump straight down to this. Shoot this thing up here. Jump up here and then bam. There's the scroll. Not that difficult, so it's actually here, you go down from um, the top of that building right here. It's basically this place, you can also do it from here, and then you just jump around like this, so yeah. But see you guys at the boss, and there we have it, now we have all the scrolls and sardiniums in this world. Unless there's a scroll, no there's not a scroll at the boss, but I actually think Okay, industrial toast into the octo oven. Okay, but um, I actually accidentally I saw a boss. I think I saw a picture or something, but, like spoilers. But basically, there's a boss who's on like a huge fat ass boss, and he's on a little tricycle or something, or a unicycle. What's it, what's it called when it only has one wheel? I don't know, but basically he's on this. Small ass unicycle and it's hilarious. But we're gonna see what this is. Oh my god. That's a disgusting one. Hey! What did you do that for? Oh my god. Oh my god. The music as well. This is intense. Holy shit! Looks like the tentacle up there, yeah. So easily. Whoa. Whoa! What was that for, huh? How do I climb up him? Oh, I get it. Hold on. Hold on, let's, let's spray some turf. Alright, good. Thanks for exposing your only weakness. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh god, you need to keep going. Oh Stop with these puns. But I remember, the boss battles are always so creative. I don't remember them as being particularly hard, except DJ Octavio, the last boss. I loved that boss fight. That's one of my favorite boss fights of all time. That fucking shit was so good. Oh my god, oh my god. He's gonna hit me. I'm just saying. Alright, do that thing. Yes, thanks. Wait a minute. Wait, I'm not gonna get it, am I? Nah, I'm too slow right now. Come on, I'm there. Yes, thanks. Oh my god, he gives you a lot of time, you know. But don't start loving. Why? Why? These, all these puns. <laughs> I swear to god, what's going on now? That fucking noise though, Jesus Christ. Wait, armor bread? Armor? On bread? Yeah, that sounds weird. What? Does he have armor? This cheating bitch. I'm gonna shoot it. Oh wait, I think. There we go. Oh no! I did not see that. I am so fucking bad right now. Hold on. Whoa, what the fuck? This dude is cheating! At least I have some ammo. What the, f dude? Calm your shit. Seriously. All right. So that's what she meant by ammo. Hold on. We're gonna do this. I'm not gonna die. Fuck that. Not on the first world's boss. Are you insane? Get him out of here. This guy's toast. He sure is, Marie. Bye bye. 
Oh my god. He's gonna explode! Okay, here we go. Alright, we did it! And we got 50. Damn. Oh, do we need these? Why does he have a selenium? Do we need all of them or something? I don't know. I will save you! Oh, that only took us two and a half minutes? Oh, I guess because the cutscenes did add like... A certain amount of time. Good work, Agent 4. I sure know how to pick him. Wait, she was sophisticated but also a bit sad. Gotta hand it to the Arctarians. Though, they, I didn't expect them to have fully operational octopuses at their disposal. I think it's time to call in the big guns. Let's see here. Sheldon, can you hear me? Over. Oh, Sheldon, that's right. I hear loud and clear, Marie. Over. Oh man, this is so cool. <clears throat> Agent Fall, I'm Sheldon from Ammo Knights, the only women shop in the Inglobolis with over 542 million years of trusted service. Jesus, that's right. Stop by Ammonites in Ingobble Square for all your weapon needs. Tell me Sheldon sent you. Marie told me everything. To think that my signature women can be unfair to the new Squidbacks platoon. I'm honored. <laughs> He's like a nerd, right? But I'm afraid I just can't let you treat my West Arsenal like an all you can ink buffet. Oh my god. <laughs> I do have a business to run, you know. <laughs> so let's help each other out. I want you to help me test out some new weapons I'm currently developing. Sure, all you have to do is use them in real world conditions. If you'll do that for me, <laughs> I'll, I'll be able to get all sorts of amazing data. <laughs> this, <laughs> that data will help me get the approvals I need to make retail versions of the weapons. And once the retail versions are out, you can use them in terrible battles. <laughs> it's a real win-win, don't you think? Oh yeah, and... Okay, down boy. I think Agent 4 gets the point. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Let's get back to work, Agent 4. Stay fresh. <laughs> oh my god, she said it! She said straight, straight, stay fresh. Oh, I guess you need the Sardinium to kind of know or as a token that you defeat the boss. But there we go, we unlock world 2. Good news. Now I can use my ammo knives in the hands of our next colorfish. Oh, so that's how we... It's a top-of-the-line winding machine that can enhance your weapons and add bomb bombs to your arsenal. Thanks! The enhancer fire doesn't take cash. It takes power eggs and <laughs> sardinium instead. Oh, so that's what sardiniums are used for. It's only going to get tougher. Yeah, okay. So what I want to know is... Alright, you know what? I'm sorry for doing this, but... I don't want to be a total new, so I'm just gonna quickly look up what Sardinium does in Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2, Sardinium. Because if I like use them for this, I'd rather use it for like... Because if I use them in this world, and I could have used them like for online things, I'd rather use them for, for online things. So let's see... Uh, You know what, we have a bunch of time. Um, it says, like he said, I could use it to unlock my weapons and shit. Um, at least here. But we can just go to the store and check if we can actually use it. So we're just gonna head to the store. Like we have, as I said, we have more than enough time. Like this episode is only a, a, a bit above 10 minutes right now. Maybe 12. Um, chum, what is that supposed to mean, dude? So where is he? That's the question. Um, no. I think he's here. Right. Let's see. Yes. Oh my, is that truly the only weapon in your possession? You'll need a bigger arsenal than that, and if you want to be taken seriously around here. <laughs> I'd offer to help, but I'm not sure you can handle my firepower low you No, I simply don't feel comfortable. Oh my god. Well, that fucking debunked my fury, didn't it? <laughs> so let's head back. See, here you can actually zoom in. On, um... Like, uh, zoom in on people. How did you already get that? That has to be an amiibo. Or he's just a fucking nerd. Like, the game came out today. I'm still recording it the same day as it came out, so... 
That makes no sense. Alright, but let's check out this thing. Yes. Increase fire rate, yes, I'm... Wow. I have to be honest, I didn't expect it to be this expensive. Um, that's kind of awkward. So actually, I don't think... I could get a curling bomb, but honestly... Look at this shit, look at this fire rate. As soon as I can, as soon as we have 800 um, eggs, power eggs, I'm gonna fucking upgrade our weapon. But yeah, I guess that's it actually. This is a rather short episode, I know, but you can expect the boss episodes to be a bit shorter. If they're not that challenging. But um, next episode, we're actually gonna go to World 2. So look forward to that. But... For now, we're gonna have to end it off, so thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe as it helps out a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Splatoon 2. And goodbye.